Just got done canning some dill pickles from the cucumbers that I pulled from the garden. And I'm going to go ahead and take you on a current tour of my garden to let you see the progression in just a few weeks of when I first got everything planted and was in the middle of planting in my uh, garden beds to what it looks like now. Here are dill, zesty dill pickles. I already canned a ton of uh, pickled banana peppers, sweet banana peppers, but today I needed to use three, four actually large cucumbers that I discovered and uh, there's no way I'd be able to just eat that you know before it went bad so we went, we went ahead and I tackled the uh, zesty dill pickles. Okay guys as you can see all my lettuces have bolted today with the humidity factor guy, uh, built into the actual temperature it is 112 to 116 degrees here in Iowa zone 5 so all my lettuces have totally bolted. I do still occasionally find new growth, or I did it at least about a week ago. These are pretty well shot. They're going to have to be pulled up. But as you can see, the lettuces here, I can still use some of that. But the ones that have bolted, such as these, they're going to have to be pulled. These over here on the right side of the arch, these are the Alyssa white onions. They're coming along great. I'll zoom in so that you can see that. They're doing good. Growing, growing, growing. Can't wait to pick them. My family is a huge onion eater. The strawberries, they're growing good. As you can see. They've gotten a lot bigger since I planted them. I even have some that are flowering. If I can get it on here on camera. We're not going to get a whole lot of strawberries this year because it's the first year. But we'll get a few. And, hope, and because they're growing so good, hopefully next year they'll just come in with a vengeance. Flowers. Flowers. They're doing real good. Raw. These are my sugar baby watermelon, and they're kind of slow, slow growing, slow going, but I don't care. As long as they give me some really good watermelon, even just a few, I'll be thrilled. This is my practice run year. I've never had a garden before, so this is all learning experience and research and reading. I bought a bunch of books off Amazon. I've watched a ton of videos on YouTube. So, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this being the first garden I've ever had. These are my green bean, bush green beans. So they're coming, they're coming along. These are also green bean bush. I don't have any green beans this year that I planted that I had to trellis. These are all green beans. I got some over here mixed in with some. Oh, I think that might be cauliflower. No, not cauliflower. Broccoli. This plant right here, if you can see it. The sun's really bright, so it's kind of hard to see some things out here. I didn't want to wait till dusk because I'm probably going to be too busy making dinner and trying to get things watered. These are all my pumpkin, you guys. Do you remember me showing you when they were just coming up above the ground? Or I just planted them and I told you that nothing was coming up in the last video. Look at this. These are all my pumpkins. This bed here is my white polar bear pumpkins. Very excited. Can't wait. Okay, we'll bring you around here. These are the Gigantor Alaskan cauliflower. They still haven't formed heads. Don't know if they will because of the excessive heat we're having. Um, I keep them well watered, but, you know, don't know. Like I said, this is my experimental year. These are my purple onions and sweet onions, yellow onions. They're all doing good. Let's see if I can get them on camera. It's really hard for me to see with the bright sun. But they're doing good. There's a purple one down there, if you can see that. There's purple one. 
and the garlic are way at the end. I have gotten a ton of uh, banana, sweet banana peppers. I've already canned four half gallon jars and pickled them and then done six uh, quarts. So as you can see right here, I'm going to zoom in if I can see them. I don't know if you can or not. But there's a ton of them. Let's see if I can show it to you. Those are my green peppers. They're coming along. They're not huge yet, but you know, they're working on it. That'll be a nice one. Um, let's see. These are my purple eggplants. I don't have a problem, you know, with bugs nibbling on it here and there. I did put some white powder on it. Uh, I used seven after I watered them because I had found a Chinese, uh, I think they're called Chinese beetles or whatever. They will eat your plants down to nothing. These are my, I think these are broccoli. Right here. Already harvested a bunch of beets, made pickled beets. I think I got two beets left that I'm still letting grow because they're not very big yet. There's one. And here's the other. Whoops, let's pull this. That's a weed. That's my other beet. So I'm going to let them grow. Here's some more banana peppers. They're everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Okra, I've already harvested several. There's the okra there, there's the okra there, they just keep reproducing okras. Like I said, my family's not a huge okra eater, I just thought it'd be neat to see if I could grow them. Radishes, they're probably woody, they're absolutely massive. I already gave away as much as I could to family and friends, and you know, we've used as much as we can eat, they're just massive. So I'll be pulling them all out and then I'll have an empty bed. Corn. It's doing good. I'm three weeks behind the farmer uh, that has a field next to our property. This is my, my sweet corn. This is his field corn. Absolutely massive. But like I said, he's three weeks ahead of me because my beds weren't all the way done yet and I didn't get everything planted right away. These are more peppers, sweet banana peppers, uh, green pepper, and more radishes, which are absolutely huge. I, I, I don't even know if I would try to eat them. If you cut it open, it'd probably be all woody looking. My carrots came up. I've got red carrots, and then I've got the traditional orange carrots. First time I've ever planted carrots. This bed is doing far better than, let me bring you over here far better than this bed. I mean, there's still carrots coming up, but they should be just tons of them like the other bed. I've also had a raccoon that you can see right over here where there's hardly nothing. I had a bunch of carrots coming all up through here, and a raccoon has been digging in my bed. This is, of course, the pumpkins again, just on the other side from where we were before. They're just expanding everywhere. Doesn't bother me. I already knew that they weren't going to stay in the beds that I planted them in. Oh there's, a, oh, there's a butterfly. I don't know if I can get it on camera for you. These under the trellis are gourds and, um, oh, what are they called? They're, or, they're, they're from China or something, and they're gourds that grow to like almost six feet long. I forget what they're called, but I just planted them for fun. I'm trying to get this butterfly, if I can find it, on camera for you. Don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. It's really hard to see in this viewfinder. Don't know if I can get it. Nope, it flew away. Anyway, they're like noodle gourds, and they're from the Orient, I believe. Anyway, the ones that are here, I just started from seed just a couple weeks ago. And they're doing good. They love this heat. They eat this heat up. These are broccoli. 
these are broccoli right here and these are my cantaloupe they just exploded from the last video I did just exploded they're halfway up the trellis these are bottle gourds and loofah plants they're exploding they're way up the trellis they're just going crazy up there I'm gonna have to tuck more of the runners back down the trellis they're just exploding everywhere I'm very these are more bush beans here's my sweet potatoes had a couple more sweet potato runs I planted from the last video they're doing good I'm very proud of my zucchini here's one start and I'm gonna get it on camera there's the zucchini. It's starting. There's some more in here. They are just exploding. They just love this humid heat. Let's see if I can get a picture. I can look. Oh, here's some starting. We got all kinds of stuff going on in here. Love it can't wait I love zucchini I like breading it and frying it these are all my cantaloupe on the other side of the trellis that I showed you and these are eggplants right here and I keep trying to train all of these runners to stay on the trellis but they keep shooting out toward my eggplant so that next year is going in my journal do not plan anything with cantaloupe or zucchini or you know, anything viney, don't plant anything in the bed with it. Give it its own bed. These are all my green beans and sweet peas that are climbing up the trellis. <clears throat> Last video, they didn't even reach the trellis. They were just barely poked through the dirt. They're not quite halfway up the trellis yet, but they're getting there. They're my sweet peas. My tomatoes, I got a bunch of green ones. I can zoom in so that you can get a shot of them. We got green tomatoes there, there, everywhere. They're way in here. You can see that. We've got them all the way around here. We've got them in here. See those? They're here. We've got tomatoes here, here, they're just not red yet, but they're all over the place. I've got all kinds of tomatoes from cherries, which are here, to the big boys. Next year I'm going to divide half of what I planted on both sides of this bed and trellis, and I'm going to divide it up between two beds with trellises. Too many in here, it's going to be too hard to try to find all the tomatoes. More cherries. But it's a learning experience and I'm just, I'm so grateful that I'm born to a country that I have the freedom to do this. You know, I've never done it before and it's so exciting. So exciting. To grow your own food and it tastes and lasts so much longer than store bought. These are my cucumbers and my squash. They have just exploded. I knew they were going to really overgrow the bed. But that's fine by me, as long as they, I'm going to have to try to keep them away from my corn though, because they're not far. They're getting there. So hopefully I can keep pulling it towards the bed and they won't run into my corn, but man, I have, I just have stuff everywhere. But it's growing. That's what I care about, that it's growing, producing food. See, there's another cucumber starting right there. I don't need any more of those right now. That's for sure. I can't wait till my squash start. I love squash. Acorn squash, butternut squash. So, ooh, here's one. See that, guys? That's the first one I saw. 
or that I've found. There's probably tons in here, but it's so compacted with food in here and leaves and plant growth that it's almost impossible to find anything. There's another one. That's a cucumber. So, here are my sunflowers. They're coming along. Thought I'd show you those. These are my sunflowers. Here and here. And then I also planted sunflowers here. I love sunflowers. So since nothing's really trellising up my trellises yet, you can never have enough sunflowers. Well, that's essentially it, you guys. That was my cantaloupe, my zucchini, my squash, my cucumber, my sweet corn, all my tomatoes, peppers, radishes, lettuces, cauliflower, broccoli, bush bean, loofah plants, gourds. There are um, the bottle gourds that you can drill holes when the gourds dry out so you can paint them and stuff or varnish them, sand them, whatever you want to do to make uh, birdhouses. Sweet potatoes, carrots, onions, strawberries, watermelon, pumpkins, and then all my herbs. I got tomatoes in the buckets. They're still growing. The potatoes won't be done until fall when uh, all the green foliage is like way up here and it's all brown and dead looking. That's when you know your potatoes are ready. Here's my dill. Here's my horse heel. Uh, those are garlic, basil, not sure what these are. I planted some herbs that I'm not familiar with, and this is one of them. So if anybody that's viewing the video knows what this is, is it a weed, or it must be an herb because I have an awful big patch of them. I just don't know what it is. So if you guys know, let me know. I know this is basil. This is cinnamon basil with the purple flowers. What I don't know is right there. I don't know what these are. And then I got Greek oregano, which I'm going to have to start dehydrating so that I've got this to get me through the winter. And that about covers it. My lemon balm, they're doing good. I got a thing of lettuce I stuck in here because I ran out of room. It's doing good. Here's my lavender. That smells absolutely wonderful. Tulips growing through it, but oh well. And there's some roses wish they'd climb. I don't know. They're not climbing. And my grapevines, they're still going. They're slowly growing. As long as they keep going and stay alive, I'm a happy camper. Everything's going to take a while as far as like grapevines and the fruit bushes and stuff like that. But, you know, we got the trellis built. We use landscape logs for that. So as long as they keep going, we're happy here in this homestead. All right, guys, that about does it, I think, for today's video. I just wanted to give you an update, let you see how much things are growing and exploding since the last time I did the video. Thanks for joining me. It's a great day. Bye, guys.